What's up guys, I'm Bob Tompkins with Real Broker and living in South Carolina. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Clemson, South Carolina. Now, as you may know from following the channel, in a previous video, we discussed the things to do in Clemson, but now we're gonna talk about the good and the bad. So let's get into it. The first pro of living in Clemson, South Carolina is that it's a college town. Now, being a college town, that means that you're gonna have plenty of nightlife. You're gonna have bars up and down the main strip of Clemson. So if you're looking for a place to party on a Tuesday night, then Clemson's gonna have you covered because they are trying to appeal to college students. So wherever that is that you wanna drink, Clemson is gonna have plenty of bars for you. In addition to that, a college town is gonna provide you with plenty of sporting events to attend. Whether you're a soccer fan, baseball fan, football or basketball fan, Clemson is going to have those because they are one of the top athletic programs in the country for sports. So you're absolutely going to be able to find that in Clemson. Also, one of the key benefits of living in a college town like Clemson is that they attract many major retailers that a lot of other small towns don't have. So if you're looking for a small town sort of environment, Clemson is gonna be able to provide you with a lot of those big name retailers that you're gonna have a hard time finding in some smaller towns. Now, because it's a college town, that also leads to a major con, which is Clemson is a college town. So as a college town, if you're looking for a quaint or quiet downtown that doesn't get too lively, you are not going to find that here. Clemson's downtown can get a little loud and rowdy as a result of the fact that it is a college town. Also, because they cater to the school year of that kind of October, September to late May, summers could be a little boring because there's not a whole lot of people that are there. So there's not a whole lot of activities to do during the summer as a result of Clemson being a college town. Now, aside from Clemson being a college town, there are other pros. Pro number two is that Clemson is a great town for people that enjoy the outdoors. Clemson is extremely close to the mountains, tucked right into the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. If you're looking for different places to go hiking or camping, Clemson is great as it is easily accessible to those different sorts of things. You've got Table Rock State Park that is not very far away, along with other state parks in the upstate of South Carolina. Also, Clemson is nestled right in between three different lakes. You've got Lake Jocassee, Lake Kiwi, and Lake Hartwell. So if you're the outdoor adventurous type and you want to be able to go hiking, you want to be able to go camping, or you just want to be able to go spend some days on the lakes, Clemson can afford those opportunities to you. Also, with the mountains and the lakes, Clemson is absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking for different sceneries to be able to hang out and just enjoy the outdoors, Clemson is gonna offer that to you. In fact, if you just Google pictures of Clemson, you will be amazed at just how stunning of a town this is, nestled in its little piece of the upstate. It is just beautiful. Now, one of the cons of being tucked up in the mountains close to all the hiking and camping in the lakes is that Clemson is not very close to any touristy spots or any big cities. You've got to drive about 45, 50 minutes from Clemson to get to the closest larger city, which is Greenville, South Carolina. Outside of that, you're a couple hours away from Charlotte or Atlanta. So if you're looking for that big city vibe or you're looking for some touristy spots, Clemson just does not have that. It does take a little bit of time to get over the mountains into Asheville, about three to four hours to get down to the coast. So if those are the things you're looking for, Clemson's gonna have a hard time providing you with those sorts of things. However, even though Clemson doesn't have big cities or touristy spots nearby, Clemson is surrounded by a couple of small, thriving and growing downtowns. So with pro number three, you have the surrounding areas. 
So Clemson is very close to Seneca, South Carolina, as well as Pendleton, South Carolina, which are small little towns that have been experiencing a lot of growth in recent history. Seneca has a lot to do downtown. I personally am a big bar fan. And Kiwi Brewing, downtown Seneca, is a place that is just fantastic. Kiwi Brewing brews some phenomenal beers, ones that you can really sit down and enjoy, whether that's an IPA, a stout, or just a good old-fashioned Kohl's or Hefeweizen. And downtown Pendleton has two of my favorite bars, actually, in the entire upstate. My good friend Matt Jordan is part owner of Brews on the Square, which is a tap house with 20 different taps. Fantastic spot there at Brews on the Square, as well as the Gypsy Wine Bar, which is a new bar in downtown Pendleton owned by my good friend Casey Walters. This spot is just fantastic. It's lively, not quite as conservative as many of the places you would go in the upstate. So it's just a really cool place to go and see how Pendleton is growing and evolving in to a more modern sort of scene. The reason I bring up these small towns that surround Clemson is when you're there in the summer months and it's not that busy, these surrounding towns offer you a place to go and find some things to do on the weekends or during the work week, and you can bet that you're gonna be happy with those options. Now, the one biggest con of living in Clemson is that while it affords a lot of great things, it is not where the University of South Carolina is located. The better school of the state, I am a big believer in the Gamecocks. While we've had our recent struggles in football and Clemson has experienced some fortunate events, uh, the Gamecocks really are the superior school. So that is really the only big, big con of living in Clemson is that you don't get to watch the Gamecocks play. But we'll give them a pass for that because they can't really control how great of a sport environment they have. And I'm just happy that Clemson fans can deal and tolerate with people poking a little fun at them. So guys, this has been this episode of Living in South Carolina. I hope you've enjoyed it and got something out of this content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out some of these other videos. We'll see you next time on Living in South Carolina.